Custy Graphics. Dear, dear future channel in case it's your first time here consider subscribing my name is Maureen Shani and I'm showing you all over Kenya and reasons why you should visit Kenya I'm sorry I took this part of the video I hope I hope you'll understand me so I'm going to tell you reasons why you should add Naivasha to your bucket list so let's know where Naivasha is Naivasha is county number 32 and it's located in Nakuru county so nakuru county has wealth to offer like it has a lot of things it's just a tourist attraction center so if you're an internal tourist what do we call them a local tourist and if you are um just an, a tourist if you're coming from another country to visit kenya that is a resident or non-resident uh, you should add a knife a to your itinerary uh, list so let's know uh, reasons why you should visit uh, Naivasha. We have so many places where you can visit. The, the first place is uh, Lake Naivasha. In Lake Naivasha, we have a ranch in the private sector and we also have Lake Naivasha itself. You're going to have to enjoy walking through the park or driving through the park. You can also enjoy uh, boat riding and you can enjoy things uh, like fishing. You can as well enjoy a view of the hippo from the, the boat. You can also get to enjoy fish that is already made from the lake. So uh, let's see um, what else is in Naivasha. We have Hells Gate and National Park. Hells Gate is, uh, lies to the south of Lake Naivasha. And the park is named after a narrow break in the cliffs and it's known for its wide variety of wildlife and for its scenery. It's an adventurous way you can get to explore on foot or by cycling. I'll prefer you go by cycling because the place is far, it is wide. So I prefer you use a bike or a car to get through the park. So it's a rare to find a dangerous animals uh, it's rare to find dangerous animals inside this park but as well there is a place where you're going to hike down to the mountain or to the park you can also do camping in Halskate. i don't know if they removed it but there was a camping so we have lake olo Dion or Olodon, I don't know. That's a volcanic uh, crater lake and it's also found at the south coast of Lake Naivasha. It's a, a small serene paradise that you'll get to enjoy. And then we have the Crescent Island Game Park. In the Crescent Island Game Park, uh, it, uh, they say it's, uh, it's best kept secret. It's a peninsula or island on the eastern side of the Lake Naifasha and it's surrounded by water. It's accessible by boat from east or west. Crescent Island is the ultimate place to give you the ge that game park experience. And then we have the Crater Lake Sanctuary. Here in the Crater Lake Sanctuary is a, a small private sanctuary centered on a volcanic crater lake with a spectacular water the sanctuary is home to a wide variety of animals, including impalas, wapags, buffaloes, giraffes, and many others. So we have Fisherman's Camp. For those who love fishing, we have a place where you can go and get to fish. It's called Fisherman Camp. In the Fisherman Camp, the splendid campsite is located on the shores of Lake Naivasha. Its large extends from uh, under a beautiful shade of acacia trees up to the hills so where you can release a spectacular views of the lake surrounding areas and then we have Mount Longonot my friends let me tell you Mount Longonot is Mount Longonot <laughs> we have uh, 
wild animals inside Mount Longonot. But the most amazing thing about a Mount Longonot is that um, you can get lost in nature and it's very beautiful inside the park. It's one of the many fascinating places and then it's yet least to visited attractions in Kenya. It's located in the Lake Naivasha region and it's dominated by Mount Longonot itself. The park has some animals but it's more about the captivating scenery and hiking at the park. So what uh, is the, the main reason why we should go to Mount Longonot? The it attraction of the park, it includes the extinct volcanic and crater forest and views of Lake Naivasha and the Great uh, Rift Valley. So you have to go up to the mountain. <laughs> we realize that uh, they have Tangawizi. For those who know Tangawizi, you can go to like um, the crayfish camping. Actually, if you're in Naivasha, you can do camping. Camping is absolutely beautiful. So if you're in Lake Naivasha, you can do camping, which is located along um, Mui South Lake Red. And it offers a wide range of activities. We also have Lake Naifasha Panorama Park. Lake Naifasha Panorama and Park Lodge is your way away from home. It's an exceptional lodging whole house. Hippo Point and Dada Tower. We also have Hippo Point in Naifasha. Imagine all these activities. Up. The Hippo Point is the ideal gateway plan. It's an exclusive private wildlife conservancy sitting on its mass between Lake Naifasha and Lake Oloidon. <coughs> Sorry for that. Another amazing fact about Lake Naivasha, it's not really a, about Naivasha, it's not really a big town, but it's a very spacious town because when you're coming from Nairobi like me, when you're coming from Nairobi, you're going to see a lot of adventure, example, uh, the traditional culture things of the Maasai people, whereby on your way there, you'll get to see the couriers of things that are put in place you can get to buy the Mansa Shuka you can get to buy the Kenyan bracelets here at um the point of view so guys I am traveling to Naivasha that's why I'm on this road and uh, that's why I'm showing you this uh, video right now I'm gonna share with you so many experiences I have experienced here in Naivasha so if you want to know more and if you want to see more uh, about Naivasha, subscribe. <laughs> Just as subscribe. So this is what I was talking about, the Masai, Masai Kurio shops. They are also located in Mayu Mayu and you can get to have, uh, to have a stop over here and get to view this place from high up at the mountain. We have a male, uh, we have uh, different types of ready, ready meals. We have big hotels where you can get to spend in Naivasha. And we also have amazing places in Naivasha. The good thing about Naivasha, we also have uh, railway stations in Naivasha. The good thing about Naivasha is that uh, the people there are very welcoming and they're going to host and accommodate you. So it is an amazing amazing experience uh, to go to Naivasha uh, one thing I'm I'm looking so much forward to is a uh, traveling uh, to some specific places so personally we had um, planned to visit um, Mount Longonot the Hell's Gate we had planned to visit the um, Lake Naivasha and even Mount Longonot, but my friends are not yet here, so we might not do the house gate because, uh, sincerely, if you're doing the house gate, you need like a whole day to do that. But you can do the, the house gate and uh, Lake Naivasha at the same time. You can also get to visit a ranch, a uh, Lake Naivasha ranch, and you visit Lake Naivasha at the same time because there's so close to each other. Uh, Mount Longonot is a bit far from the lake, but you're going to drive from uh, lake, uh, the main main road that is heading to Lake Naifasha to the place. It's around 20 minutes. So guys, I have arrived where I was going to sleep. That is the morning. <laughs>
my restaurant, <laughs> my hotel, it's, it's not far from the road, but I look forward to sharing with you more reason, to sharing with you my experience here in Naivasha. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please I do subscribe. If you haven't um, liked the video, can do like my video so that TikTok can recommend my video to other more viewers. Guys, I sorry, YouTube. Oh my goodness, YouTube can recommend my video. So guys, um, hmm, one thing I'm sure about, um, one sure I'm, um, one thing I'm sure about traveling from Nairobi to Na. Vasha is it is just one hour 30 minutes and it is not expensive if you don't have money you can use a bus and you'll get here but you'll need a vehicle to go around because other places are not so near to each other but if you don't want you can don't have one you can get um you can get an uber or bolt another thing about this place is that um Yes, thank you so much for watching. Another interesting fact about this place is that if you can't afford a hotel, you can prefer to sleep in an Airbnb. But the place is not really, really cheap <laughs> because it's a tourist attraction site and many tourists come here. So if you are on a budget, I'll recommend that you find um, places near town where you can sleep. Or you find an Airbnb because hotel prices are a bit high. I'm so delighted and thank you so much guys for watching my video until this part. Thank you so much for always supporting and watching my videos. Let's meet in Naivasha guys.